Well done, Sharon. That's uh, some forward thinking there. Fuck. Oh. Move along. Oh, come on. Sad boy. I don't know why uh, Sharon actually decided to like. Well, I don't know at what point I lost him. Ah, I thought it was a manual. God damn you! Yeah, I don't know at what point he actually decided to just go off by himself. But I didn't actually notice him going. <laughs> but yeah, was quite impressed. I might get an experience for this. You should count as kills. <laughs> Search. Search. Ah, fuck it. That was weird. Alright. Wow, that's a very, very small safe. In it. Encryption key, eh, whatever. Shut down turrets. Oh, activate pulse explosion. Alright. Activate. I guess that would have took care of all the robots walking about. Okay, and here we are in the place. Where the fuck are we? I thought this was a different way into his forge. Um, hello. Can you get through? Activate the timber. Hmm. Tells that. Okay, this is obviously the secret entrance to his base. I don't think I've seen this before. That is also a lot of doors. A hell of a lot of doors. Hmm. I must have come this way at some stage. Maybe I just didn't remember. Okay. Well, here he is anyway. Well done. You have defeated the vile antagonizer, and you've brought back her suit so that we may destroy the last taint of her villainy. <laughs> taint. Hand it to <laughs> me, and I'll make sure that no one else can ever bear the mantle of the foul antagonizer. Um, yep, here you go. Excellent. The evil taint of the antagonizer will never darken the land again. Now that the antagonizer is taken care of, Canterbury Commons is safe. Hurrah. And for your loyal assistance, I'm honored to present you with this laser pistol, crafted from my last loyal robot assistant. May it guide you well. But the mechanist cannot rest. Not while there's evil afoot in the wasteland. Farewell. Yes, farewell, my friend. So I got this, and you see how well it works. Uh, 
and not really well at all. Oh well. Um, yep, so we take everything off him. Oh fuck. I'm over encumbered shit. Nope. Okay. Time to get rid of some of this crap. Come here, Cheryl. I'm gonna give you some equipment, my friend. I don't like the look of this place. Well, I don't like the look of your face, so... Very well. Okay, this... It's gonna be awesome. Let's go! Are you fucking serious? I don't like the look of this place. Put on that equipment. Very well. Yeah. Oh, I don't like the look of this place. Take his recon armor as well. Very well. Let's go. N no, that's not what I was looking for. I don't at like all. the look of this place. Well, you know what? You're Very in a funnel. Well. At all. Just gonna give you all this crap then. Alright, whatever. You choose what you wanna wear. You suck. It's kinda disappointing. You could have wandered the wastelander as a uh, antagonizer and all the Greek on stuff. Yeah, I mean I could have stuck on the Antagonist's costume, and he could have put on the the me mechanists, but for some reason he does does not want to cooperate. God damn you, Sharon! God damn you! No, I wanted to look at what that thing was on his back, really. Is that some kind of magnetic holder for his gun or something? Let me see. Let me look, are you? Ghouls don't trust it when I'm behind them, I guess. And he's perfectly right to feel like that. Okay, I wonder if this guy, Uncle Rose, is asleep or not. Come on, Sharon, hurry up. Who's that? We appreciate you taking care of our Dominic little problem. Dominic Del Sado or something. Okay, Uncle Ru must be in bed. Oh, there he is. With all of that fighting, I never did get to give you the official welcome to the town, did I? Welcome to Canterbury Commons, home of traders, caravanners, and most of all of excellent bargains. Here for business or pleasure? Ooh, pleasure. Meow. Uh, business. Oh. <laughs> Just wondering through. In room. that case, I'm sure you'll find it was Providence that brought you here. Why, have a talk with any trader in town, and I'm sure you'll find just the thing you didn't even realize you needed. I need my money. How about that? That's grand. I do believe it's fair to say you've saved Canterbury. And unlike that mechanist, you did so with significantly less stress all around. Now, I do believe this is our agreed-upon payment for your fine services rendered, and a little bonus as a special thank you. Yeah, Penny Pucklip strikes again. Okay, so... We also want to talk to him about the caravans. You can usually find one of the trade caravans at the entrance to town. They come through every day or two. Other than them, Porter's always got food for sale down at the diner. Um. Oh. Ha! Damn near everything, I suspect. I founded the place myself, and I'm the reason this place stays fat and happy. Quite organized are these guys. They're just small caravans that make rounds through the wastes, hawking their wares from Paradise Falls to Rivet City. They won't trade with anyone who's hit their friends, but that's about as organized as they get. Let's organize them. 
I had thought about it, but some of these wasteland traders, well, they aren't exactly the organizational type. It'd take a pretty savvy businessman to make That's it worth their while to work together. Frankly, I'm not sure even I'm up to the task. Ah, oh, cool. Black Widow. It's time to flirt. Ooh, I'm sure a charismatic fellow like you can get them to follow your lead. Wow. Maybe show a bit of cleavage. Madam, you flatter me. I'm but a humble man of this small community. But since it's a trader community, I suppose I can call in a few favors with the caravans. I suppose I am rather persuasive in that way. So you just let me know what you'd like to see from the caravans, and I'll let them know what to focus on. Okay, so here we can invest in all the caravans, so... Then you'd be looking for Lucky Harith, adventurer. Yeah, okay. He's a bit of an... So he expands got ex quite a lot of weapons. About two hundred sure caps. So here's two hundred caps. Let me expand it if further. Harith, but he's with five hundred caps. An investment. In Let me try and expand it more. That simply isn't feasible, I'm afraid. Her and well, that's as far as we can go. Sure but thing. Not, we have a lot of money, so let's do this with all of them. Okay, five hundred. All right. Oh shit. Food and cams. Yeah. Two hundred. Five hundred. Sure. And let's see, weapons, armor, food and cams, and miscellaneous. Two hundred. Five hundred. Hit the. Any. No. Oh. Is that it? Food and cams, miscellaneous. Okay, that's all right. Them. Right. Bye. <clears throat> nice talking to you, Ro. Real nice. So that's that. Now the traders will have better stock when I talk to them. This is one of the stops that they come to anyway, so. Um. And that'll be it. That'll that's uh, that quest on. It's pretty short, you know, and it's kind of disappointing. I thought when I first saw it, I thought it had a lot of, I don't know, a lot more to it. When them two are fighting, like when you first see it, it looks quite kind of exciting. But at the end of the day, it isn't is isn't all that great. I think their bases should be bigger and stuff, and maybe better hidden. But anyway, uh, that's that for the. That's it for this set, anyway. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And join me next time in the Fallout 3 Let's Play. Goodbye.